What's up everyone, I am the Gamer Raptor, and welcome to something new that I wanted to do today. Today I will be giving a beginner's guide to Helldivers 2. To anyone that is new into the game and wants to get into Helldivers, I will basically go on an overview, basic guide on just pretty much everything in general that you need to know about Helldivers 2. Awesome. And plus, right now with Helldivers 2, I feel like it's one of the more games that we had in a long time, so I really do hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and if this does help you, be sure to leave a like, also subscribe if you're new, and comment down below what you guys think about Helldivers. But without further ado, let's get straight into democracy. Let's go. Alright, so here we are on the ship. Now, this here is your ship that you have as a hell diver if you're new. Now, I will go over here and just show you guys on how you can upgrade most of the stuff that you get, uh, which is the ship management. The first thing that we're going to go over. Now, for your ship management, you can name your ship whatever you want to name it. For me, I named mine SES Queen of Redemption. I The reason I went with that is because I just wanted to go with it. Alright, so don't don't even try to judge me in the comments but it's not just the ship that you can also change your name with with the ship you also have stratagems which you can take upon the battlefield so these stratagems here you see are basically specialized weapons that you can use against the bugs and the automatons so the, like the automaton and same goes with like orbital cannons that you can use against the automatons or the terminants aka bugs and same goes with the eagle and you also have ship modules too within the ship management as well now for the modules you can use these to upgrade your orbital strikes or your eagle uh, strikes as well and you can get more eagle strikes so for example here if I show you here for this expanded weapons bay here this is like one of the bay hangers and whatnot for the eagles and this basically trims excess leg space in the cockpit allows the eagle to carry additional payloads so with that I can carry like one more 500 kilogram bomb like I can have two 500 kilogram bombs that's pretty much what this is doing it's increasing the number of times i can use the bombs itself and that's not just with the 500 kilogram it's also with the airstrike it's also with the cluster bomb it's also with the napalm strike and the strafe and run so i have more strafe and runs more airstrikes and whatnot so that's what the module really does it upgrades most of your stratagems to make them a bit better so that way you get more stratagems or more times to use them again is what i would say but yeah this is pretty much the ship management where you get your uh basically your destroyer you get to name your ship you also get stratagems and you also get ship modules but yeah this is pretty much where you get most of the stuff at all right the next place we're gonna look at is the acquisition center now the acquisition center is where you will find your war bond at so as you see here this is the free war bond that you will get as a beginner now for me i'm like a well i'm really like at page nine oh well close to page nine honestly well no not page nine <laughs> i'm at page 10 well i'm at page 10 i'm gonna unlock it soon so you'll be able to get your first weapon which will be the sg8 punisher now you'll also get other cool stuff as well which would be frag grenades and along with the clapping mode and as well as some good cosmetics for your hell diver and you can also see the item info here by pressing triangle you'll be able to see the armor rating and the speed for your cosmetic really <laughs> or for your armor and you can also look at your uh, damage for the weapon itself too. And same goes for the grenade as well. Now in the war bond, you'll be able to get super credits, which you can use this to either A, use it for cosmetics here in the store, or B, you can use it to get different war bonds, premium war bonds that you would have to buy for 1,000 super credits, to be honest. Now in these war bonds, there are other different types of weapons that you can get after you finish your free pre your free war bond here. You can go for a premium if you want to. I mean, the premium itself, again, is 1,000 super credits. It would cost only $10 if you want to get the super credits itself. And the way you buy your weapons with the war bond is by getting the good old medals now the war bomb medals are basically the ones up in the right hand corner and then you see there's 93 war bomb medals now the way to get those war bomb medals you would have to complete major orders and whatnot and you'll be able to complete those major orders with the entire community which you'll get like 50 war bomb medals and you'll be able to spend those medals to get most of the stuff that you want here in the war bonds like for example here um i want to get this one here it'll be 50 war war bomb medals i can just claim it claim the item and i'll be able to get this item and i'll be able to move on and get the next one so that's pretty much the war bomb metal system and the way you want to get the war bomb medals is by a just grinding the game over and over again and playing missions and that's how you get more war bomb medals so 
yeah that's pretty much the war bond system here for the acquisition next we're gonna go over the armory now the armory itself you have basically your primary weapons you can switch out your primary weapons whenever you're in the war bond system you get more weapons and you'll also have your secondary weapons too which for me i usually take the well beamer but that's just me um there's also a peacemaker but you'll get more secondary weapons when you get the other premium war bond you also have your armor here as well that you can also get it really depends on what armor you want to go for you also have your helmet you have your cape you can change that up and you also have your character which you can change your character to either be leany or brawn me <laughs> my bad and you can also change the voice of your hell diver as well you can also add an emote, which the hug emote is always still going to be my favorite one. Like, look at this guy. He looks so awesome. And you also have your victory pose, which I just really have randomized victory poses. I mean, I just go for that. And then you also have your player card, which this one is basically up to your choice. Whichever player card you want to go for. I like to go for Judgment Day. It's one of my favorites. Okay. <laughs> and you can also change your title here, which I like to go for Ted Death Captain. So yeah, I just have this title here. And you also get to see which boosters you have, which you'll be able to unlock these boosters within the war bond itself. Uh, it'll have like stamina enhancement, muscle enhancement, vitality enhancement, uh, UAV recon booster, and health pod space optimization. So you'll be able to see these in the war bond itself. And you also have your overall career on how many kills you have killed in the with the terminus and the automatons and friendly kills. Yes, there is friendly fire. Okay. <laughs> and you also have grenade kills like upon you just have a lot of kills that you can just see in your overall career here in hell divers 2 which is really amazing from the devs themselves just to just to really just show this like our record and what we did this is it's just really awesome that they added this in here for for all of us honestly the community of hell divers all right so we went over the entire ship management and the armory now we're going to go ahead and get into the galactic war map as you see here you'll be able to see your major order and your personal order that i've talked about earlier also be able to see your hell how many hell divers are active enemies killed hell divers kia and bullets fired on the left hand side too and down here you'll be able to choose your missions on different planets now the way you want to choose your mission so for example we'll just go here to the automaton sector and we'll go to Laseth, which is more of a cold planet now the way you would choose your mission if you're playing solo as a beginner you can just start up your own mission by just well right here you can start up your mission like operation, operation keep peacekeeper or whatnot i think it is or peacekeeping operation yeah and you'll be able to eliminate devastators which is what you'll have to be doing here in this mission now sometimes whenever you're in your mission you'll have people that will join you and you'll be able to really play with other people that are around you so you'll be able to get people to join you sometimes in your mission sometimes it happens sometimes it doesn't but um not but nine times out of ten uh you'll be able to find people that will join you in your mission now you'll be able to join other people's missions as well so if you look at it right here you'll be able to join this person's mission here which i'm just showing as an example and as you see here i joined their mission and i'm just again i'm just showing you guys an example i'm not going to be doing the mission with them i'm just showing you as an example of what happens whenever you join the mission as a new beginner <laughs> Jump complete. but yeah you can really join anyone else's mission if you want to and just join them and just complete the mission as best you can and you can also change the difficulty of the missions too so it, for example if you want to play on easy you can play on easy and just do the mission here uh, medium as well now if you're new i highly recommend don't recommend trying to go into challenging yet well you can't you won't be able to go into challenging you'll have to like do medium missions just to unlock challenging or you have to do challenging missions just to unlock hard or you have to do hard missions just to unlock extreme and you have to do extreme missions to unlock su suicide missions and then you have to do suicide missions to unlock impossible impossible to unlock hell dive so you'll basically have to do just like little missions on your own and whatnot or not on your own but with friends if you want to and once you do those missions you'll be able to level up and rank up and to getting uh different difficulties for those missions as well so for medium you'll be able to get to challenging so for challenging missions and you complete those you get the hard missions that's pretty much how it goes in hell divers 2 for any beginner that's how you'll basically see it is that you'll be able to like unlock those difficulties uh, just by doing the regular missions that you're in for right now so if you're in medium you do those missions you'll be able to unlock the challenging missions pretty much simple like that all right guys so here we go i just started up a mission real quick so as you want to know this is where you would get into your hell pod here so you would go into your hell pod you would get into it get into it and you also get to choose where you want to land at so we're pretty much going to be landing right next to the extraction zone here 
and we're going to make our way to the mission as well and you also get to choose which stratagems you want to take since we're facing the automatons i'm taking my eagle airstrike and i'm also going to be taking uh just a cluster bomb for this is like a new and i'll be able to show some stuff off here too and i'll take a 500 kilogram as well and you also want to take a special weapon with you as well so for me i am going to take uh just for this mission i will take the heavy machine gun and you can also choose which uh booster you want to take i mean it is decisive again it's up to you which one you want to take i'm gonna go ahead and take the muscle enhancement and as you can see there is someone joining me right now and he's got the exact same fit as me kudos to you my guy <laughs> but right now he's also choosing which uh stratagems he wants to take so he's pretty much taking his stratagems too so i'm gonna go ahead and ready up and i'm just waiting for him to ready up and here we go for democracy ladies and gentlemen for democracy here we go <laughs> this is gonna be epic all righty here we go all right so here we are now i'm gonna go ahead and get my super weapon down our special weapon that is uh, my heavy machine gun and also you can check the modifications for your weapons so for the breaker spray and pray i can change whatever i want to with the weapon by just pressing down and i'll be able to change it auto on off this is by personal preference really whatever you want to go for you just have to play around with it and just see what you want to do with it now i'm also going to take my heavy machine gun and the heavy machine gun well it's like that that's pretty much what the heavy machine gun's like <laughs> and i can also change the uh, mode for it if i wanted it to go slower i'll make it go slower or go faster really 450 is the slowest all right so right now we have a bot drop in coming so what that means is that there is going to be a drop ship of automatons coming to our location and there it is that's the drop ship right there so you want to try to take that down which my friend did and you also have to take out this uh little battalion of automatons here Reloading. and there are also specific missions that you have to do to in order to progress the entire game so we are have to pump fuel into the icbm that's what we're doing right now and i have to go and uh make the thingy so i gotta go switch these uh, things here so i gotta wait for that in a minute so all right so my friend he just got through with the terminal now i'm gonna go ahead and adjust the valve and right there as this lit up right there that means it's adjusted and we go back here and we go back here and we get the next one we get the next one here and we adjust it and once it's lit up, then we get on the terminal. Well, first we gotta clear out these uh these bots here. And once that's done, we'll be able to pump the fuel and complete that. So it's like little missions that you have to do here just to complete, and then you'll be able to extract. Now you will also get to see this yellow icon here, which that will have like little mini rewards in them, which could be war bomb medals or acquisition. It really depends so for us we got super credits which is awesome you can also get super credits on here as well which is really dope uh, you can also get common samples that can be used for the ship module that i talked about earlier which that you'll have to like get those just to upgrade most of your modules and there are also different places of interest as well so there are like little mines or whatnot or well not mines but little like bunkers i'll say i think this would be a bunker yeah <laughs> like this will be like the little bunkers that you'll be able to get like uh really great rewards and whatnot you'll also get medals which is like war bomb medals uh like those yellow things that i talked about earlier that you'll be able to get and i'm trying to get this other one i have to like shift it i guess okay there we go uh but yeah that's pretty much what you'll be able to achieve whenever you're on the battlefield here in uh hell divers too but there are also side quests that you can do as well which is basically repair the satellite or just repair the artillery you will be you'll be able to find that in like higher mission difficulties like the challenging missions or hot hard missions or actually i think you'll be able to find it in the medium missions too medium and easy so you'll be able to see most of the that other stuff within the uh the other difficulty missions right now we're just doing trivial just to show you guys what you're going to be facing <laughs> and also i never got to show the stratagem so i'll show the stratagems the best i can so i'm going to show you guys the eagle airstrike first okay, this is what it will look like uh, many maybe many of you have seen it but maybe some of y'all haven't that's what the eagle airstrike looks like and there's also a cooldown for them as well so you have to wait a bit and here is the eagle cluster bomb which that one's still one of my favorite ones to use, honestly. I love the Eagle Cluster Bomb. And here's the 500 kilogram bomb, which is still awesome 
to just do. And I can also do this too. <laughs> this is democracy, baby. <laughs> That's the that's the eagle 500 kilogram. So that's pretty much my stratagems I show y'all right there. But there are more stratagems that you can use with like artillery barrage and stuff. And there are defensive stratagems for defense missions. The defensive missions those are like in higher difficulty. So you would have to like go up and like I'll say impossible or challenging just to do the defense ones. And here we are. We're at the extraction part. We just finished up the mission and whatnot and just exploring. So now we're getting ready to extract and we have to defend the extraction zone. Now when defending the extraction zone, there will be some automatons or bugs if you're doing the terminates that will try to come and attack you because I don't know. I mean, it's the extraction zone. You have to try to defend it, <laughs> but, but they will be coming to attack you. It really depends on which way they're going to be coming to attack you from. Now, as you see here, yep, see, there goes one, one dude right here who's trying to attack and he was also trying to call in a drop ship, which I wasn't going to allow that happen. Now there, and since we're on a fire planet, there's also going to be fire tornadoes around here. So it's going to be a bit hectic in a bit. Maybe, maybe not, but there are more people. There are more of the uh, automatons here that we're taking out. Empty. And my mag is empty right now. Oh boy. They are more behind. They're trying to, they're trying to flank us, man. They are trying their best. And I'll, you also have stems that can also heal you too. Uh, the way that you basically heal yourself is by pressing up on the D-pad. Okay, here we go. Let's put these guys out, get them out of here. And I love the breaker spray and pay, but I can't be I can't wait to get the next one, which is gonna be the scorcher. And yeah, you see here, here's the fire tornado. Yeah, all the fire is here. <laughs> and if you also press triangle, you can also switch to your secondary as well. Which is my secondary is a redeemer, basically the SMG. And you can also switch. Oh my goodness! <laughs> And you can also, if you hold down triangle, you'll be able to switch to your main weapon or your main support weapon, which is, which I have here is my machine gun. You'll be able to switch to that and you'll be, and you'll also be able to switch to your grenades by pressing right on the, on the D-pad as well. And you'll be able to use the grenades if you want. Which the grenades, you'll be able to use it for fabricators, which is basically used by the automatons or holes um, from the uh, bugs as well. You'll be able to seal those up. It really depends on the mission type, but uh, yeah, we got more of them. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh. Let's get that out of the way. Okay, now we extract. <laughs> now we're out of there, but yeah. But yeah, that we just completed the mission and here's our operation status in the mission complete. We got 14 samples and we also got our currency as well. That's how you can earn a little bit of currency. Now you can earn more currency if you upgrade the difficulty of the mission. So if you go to say like challenging, you'll be able to earn more currency there. Like hell dive, you'll be able to earn a lot if you complete that mission. But hell dive is like one of the hardest ones in the game. So you just want to take the time and take it one step at a time when it comes to playing hell divers 2. But yeah, that's going to do it for this beginner's guide to hell divers 2. I do hope this guide helps anyone that is new to the game. And as always, I will be able to answer your questions in the comments section down below. If you have any more concerns into hell divers 2 or how to do this in hell divers 2 or how to do that, let me know in the comments. I'll be able to answer them as best I can. As always, I'm the Game Raptor. It's for democracy. And I will see you guys in the next video hell divers stay wild i'll see you in the next one y'all all right guys peace out